there's an uncoverable, so far, wide receiver. Anthony Johnson took games over. There are first-round talent players on this team, period. Tyree going to throw deep downfield, looking for A.J. Caught. Jackson looking way downtown to the corner. What a ball. What a grab. Anthony Johnson is not going to be stopped. He can't compete with anyone in the country, whether that be uh, any other receivers on the list or any other corner safety that he's going to go up against in the future. Wheeled in by Johnson. He scores a Buffalo touchdown. He's a tremendous athlete. He's got great balance, great body control, great hands. Anderson hangs it up deep into the end zone. Jump ball caught. Touchdown. You can't stop Anthony Johnson. He, you know, he's been able to go up and, and, and come down with the ball in traffic and things. He just does a lot of freak stuff that you wouldn't really you never really see, and then, I mean, everyone at practice looks around, the coaches look around, and everyone just goes, well, AJ's here. Anthony Johnson, in, you know, graduated high school out of Rock Hill, South Carolina, was a two-sport standout. You know, he was all-state in basketball as well as football. Basically, all my life, my career was basketball. I started playing football, third, fourth grade. Middle school, I stopped playing completely. I didn't play again until 11th grade. And I started playing a few games. Then I got in, I was with a, a friend. I got in a car wreck with her. I flew out the back of the window. So I thought my, my career was over with. Went down to South Carolina. I took the concussion test. I ended up passing that just, to, just so I could come back and play. So my, my senior year, going to the season, my quarterback got arrested. But what messed my offer up was nobody knew what I wanted to do. Cause I, I missed, I didn't sign on signing day. After that, I had to go to the JUCO route. We came across Anthony, who had, at that time was at Iowa Western. So we really checked into him. His video was good and in his junior college, but it wasn't as extensive. Probably had solid numbers. I think he maybe only had like 20 catches and, and three or four touchdowns, if that. But uh, showed us enough at, at a time where we wanted to increase our athleticism and, and overall speed at the receiver position. And it was somebody that we definitely wanted to get into our program. We thought the best thing to do for Anthony was to redshirt him. So um, when I sat down and talked to him about that redshirting, you know, kind of gave me a look on his face like I was the crazy one in the room. Looking back, I think that was the best thing, him redshirting and just, you know, learning the plays because when he came out last year, he was ready to go. Anthony did not like redshirting at all. And then last year, as we're, you know, kind of midway through our season, he goes, you know, the best thing I ever did was, I said, well, he goes, redshirt. Guy that I'm super excited about, and I think Bulls fans will be too, is a junior college player who was here last year but redshirted. His name is Anthony Johnson. He is six foot two, 200 pounds. To come out to come out of the gate, I guess against Minnesota in the first quarter and, and the two consecutive plays. Tyree drops back in the pocket. Looks, looks, gonna hang it up deep down the near sideline, looking for Johnson. Got it. Looks like he's got a new favorite target. First and ten from the 16. Tyree gonna throw into the end zone for Johnson. To get bullseye, it's a Buffalo touchdown. I think a lot of people would be surprised when they when they would come see him because you know AJ's not a guy that's gonna be screaming and jumping up and down. He's he's really even kill. Anthony's very competitive, and he wants to you know what he has learned to do here is try to be competitive every play in practice. That's a key thing. I just some of the, he just does a lot of crazy stuff like just in practice maybe. He'll just come across the middle and you'll know, throw it as hard as you can, then he'll just catch you with one hand and start laughing and stuff like that. I have seen the one, I've seen it from, uh, you know, from junior college. He would send me in the summer when he's studying and doing stuff there, and of course, I mean, he'd, he'd send me those, those videos, okay? So I got to see him doing plenty of things, and I would always respond, okay, but how's the English class going? If our best players on our team improve the most, and I think we have a chance to have a good team. Tyree, hang it up, left side, corner, end zone. That's a Buffalo touchdown. Tyree pumps, fires towards the end zone. It's caught, Anthony Johnson, touchdown. Tyree throws to the right. Three for three in the red zone from Anthony Johnson. Hangs it up deep downfield, AJ's got it at the 20. 15, 10, five, bullseye! It's the fourth touchdown catch of the game for Anthony Johnson. It's a unique relationship, quarterback and receiver, and I think one that it 
the one that people don't see all the time, it's it's the summertime work, you know, whether it be eye contact, uh, that something's gonna happen. And I think those guys have really, uh, you know, Tyree and AJ have really worked hard at, at, at developing that. Me and AJ, you know, we got a good relationship and, and we, we really don't have to verbalize a lot of stuff to each other. You just know, like, you just look over, he, he sees the guy, I see the guy, we look over and he knows what to do. And then he runs it and he scores a touchdown. Tyree fakes the handoff, drops to the pocket, hangs it up deep down the left side, looking for Johnson, got it. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! As his game has been elevated, he has assumed the role that he has to be a little bit more out in the forefront in a leadership and, and realizes that more eyes are on him, whether it be within the program of his fellow teammates or, or maybe the opposition trying to find ways to slow him down. The NFL is going to find the best football players, whether it be SCS football, D2, D3. You know, I've seen a lot of players and I've seen a lot of teams just from watching film. And, you know, he does a lot of things that, that people can't coach. You know, he's, he's a tall guy. He runs a 4-4 laser. He is a legit pro prospect, a legit first-round talent. He is the fastest bull. And, oh, by the way, he's got some bloodlines. He is Jadavian Clowney's cousin. Yeah, I didn't know Clowney was his cousin until one day in the locker room he was FaceTiming. I'm like, who's that? He goes, just Jadavian Clowney. I'm like, oh, OK. Hey, getting his work in. <laughs> he's stuck. That's it. He's stuck. That's a hurt one. I mean, having Jevin as a cousin is pretty good, you know? Like, I've seen like what it took to be there. Like, I look up to him, like, working out-wise. Like, when I go home, I work, we work out together. Like he pushes me, he tells me what I've been, what I, uh, what's the expectation like for the next level. Well, right now I think he's got an outstanding chance to, to play on Sundays, and as he continues to, to work hard and you know polish his game and work on things, uh, I think he you know he's already had those type of grades put on him, and I think his motivation to continue to work, whether it be on size and and you know maybe body weight or strength or or something technique wise, I think uh, Anthony's a very motivated young man that he wants to show that last year was not a fluke. I just want to be the best player I can be. I know I'm probably going to get double teamed, but I got to push through that and just do what I got to do to whatever I got to do to help his team.